Chapters 25 through 29 of Proverbs, American Standard Version. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sam Stinson. Chapter 25. These also are Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the glory of kings is to search out a matter. As the heavens for height and the earth for depth, so the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver, and there cometh forth a vessel for the refiner. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Put not thyself forward in the presence of the king, and stand not in the place of great men. For better is it that it be said unto thee, Come up hither, than that thou shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince, whom thine eyes have seen. Go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof, when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and disclose not the secret of another, lest he that heareth it revile thee, and thine infamy turn not away. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and network of silver, as an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold. So is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear. As the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that send him, for he refresheth the soul of his masters. As clouds and wind without rain, so is he that boasteth himself of his gifts falsely. By long forbearing is a ruler persuaded, and a soft tongue breaketh the bone. Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith, and vomit it. Let thy foot be seldom in thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee, and hate thee. A man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maul, and a sword, and a sharp arrow. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. As one that taketh off a garment in cold weather, and is vinegar upon soda, so is he that singeth songs to a heavy heart. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he be thirsty, give him water to drink, for thou wilt heap coals of fire upon his head, and Jehovah will reward thee. The north wind bringeth forth rain, so doth a backbiting tongue an angry countenance. It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than with a contentious woman in a wide house. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. As a troubled fountain and a corrupted spring, so is a righteous man that giveth way before the wicked. It is not good to eat much honey, so for men to search out their own glory is grievous. He whose spirit is without restraint is like a city that is broken down and without walls. End of chapter 25. Chapter 26. As snow in summer, and as rain in harvest, so honor is not seemly for a fool. As the sparrow in her wandering, as the swallow in her flying, so the curse that is causeless alighteth not. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the ass, and a rod for the back of fools. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. He that sendeth a message by the hand of a fool cutteth off his own feet and drinketh in damage. The legs of the lame hang loose, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. As one that bindeth a stone in a sling, so is he that giveth honor to a fool. As a thorn that goeth up into the hand of a drunkard, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. As an archer that woundeth all, so is he that hireth a fool, and he that hireth them that pass by. As a dog that returneth to his vomit, so is a fool that repeateth his folly. Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit? There is more hope of a fool than of him. The sluggard saith, There is a lion in the way, a lion is in the streets. 
As the door turneth upon its hinges, so doth the sluggard upon his bed. The sluggard burieth his hand in the dish. It wearieth him to bring it again to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. He that passeth by and vexeth himself with strife belonging not to him is like one that taketh a dog by the ears. As a madman who casteth firebrands, arrows, and death, so is the man that deceiveth his neighbor, and saith, Am not I in sport? For lack of wood the fire goeth out, and where there is no whisperer, contention ceaseth. As coals are to hot embers, and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to inflame strife. The words of a whisperer are as dainty morsels, and they go down into the innermost parts. Fervent lips and a wicked heart are like an earthen vessel overlaid with silver dross. He that hateth dissembleth with his lips, but he layeth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred cover itself with guile, his wickedness shall be openly showed before the assembly. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it shall return upon him. A lying tongue hateth those whom it hath wounded, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. End of chapter 26. Chapter 27. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. A stone is heavy, and the sand weighty, but a fool's vexation is heavier than they both. Wrath is cruel, and anger is overwhelming, but who is able to stand before jealousy? Better is open rebuke than love that is hidden. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are profuse. The full soul loatheth a honeycomb, but to the hungry soul every bitter thing is sweet. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Oil and perfume rejoice the heart, so doth the sweetness of a man's friend that cometh of hearty counsel. Thine own friend and thy father's friend forsake not, and go not to thy brother's house in the day of thy calamity. Better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. My son, be wise, and make my heart glad, that I may answer him that reproacheth me. A prudent man seeth the evil, and hideth himself, but the simple pass on, and suffer for it. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and hold him in pledge that is surety for a foreign woman. He that blesseth his friend with a loud voice rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. A continual dropping in a very rainy day, and a contentious woman are alike. He that would restrain her restraineth the wind, and his right hand encountereth oil. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof and he that regardeth his master shall be honored. As in water face answereth to face, so the heart of man to man. Sheol and Abaddon are never satisfied, and the eyes of man are never satisfied. The refining pot is for silver, and the furnace for gold, and a man is tried by his praise. Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar with a pestle along with bruised grain, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds, for riches are not forever. And doth the crown endure unto all generations? The hay is carried, and the tender grass showeth itself, and the herbs of the mountains are gathered in. The lambs are for thy clothing, and the goats are the price of the field. And there will be goat's milk enough for thy food, for the food of thy household, and maintenance for thy maidens. End of chapter 27. Chapter 28. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, 
but the righteous are bold as a lion. For the transgression of a land, many are the princes thereof, but by men of understanding and knowledge the state thereof shall be prolonged. A needy man that oppresseth the poor is like a sweeping rain which leaveth no food. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Evil men understand not justice, but they that seek Jehovah understand all things. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, but he that is a companion of gluttons shameth his father. He that augmenteth his substance by interest and increase gathereth it for him that hath pity on the poor. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer is an abomination. Whoso causeth the upright to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit, but the perfect shall inherit good. The rich man is wise in his own conceit, but the poor that hath understanding searcheth him out. When the righteous triumph, there is great glory, but when the wicked rise, men hide themselves. He that covereth his transgressions shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall obtain mercy. Happy is the man that feareth alway, but he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. As a roaring lion and a ranging bear, so is a wicked ruler over a poor people. The prince that lacketh understanding is also a great oppressor, but he that hateth covetousness shall prolong his days. A man that is laden with the blood of any person shall flee unto the pit. Let no man stay him. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be delivered, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be unpunished. To have respect of persons is not good, neither that a man should transgress for a piece of bread. He that hath an evil eye hasteth after riches, and knoweth not that want shall come upon him. He that rebuketh a man shall afterward find more favor than he that flattereth with the tongue. Whoso robbeth his father or his mother, and saith, It is no transgression. The same is the companion of a destroyer. He that is of a greedy spirit stirreth up strife. But he that putteth his trust in Jehovah shall be made fat. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. But whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack. But he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves. But when they perish, the righteous increase. End of chapter 28. Chapter 29. He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. When the righteous are increased, the people rejoice, but when a wicked man beareth rule, the people sigh. Whoso loveth wisdom rejoiceth his father, but he that keepeth company with harlots wasteth his substance. The king by justice establisheth the land, but he that exacteth gifts overthroweth it. A man that flattereth his neighbor spreadeth a net for his steps. In the transgression of an evil man there is a snare, but the righteous doth sing and rejoice. The righteous taketh knowledge of the cause of the poor, the wicked hath not understanding to know it. Scoffers set a city in a flame, but wise men turn away wrath. If a wise man hath a controversy with a foolish man, whether he be angry or laugh, there will be no rest. The bloodthirsty hate him that is perfect, and as for the upright, they seek his life. A fool uttereth all his anger, but a wise man keepeth it back and stilleth it. If a ruler hearkeneth to falsehood, all his servants are wicked. The poor man and the oppressor meet together. Jehovah lighteneth the eyes of them both. The king that faithfully judgeth the poor, his throne shall be established forever. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself causeth shame to his mother. 
When the wicked are increased, transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall look upon their fall. Correct thy son, and he will give thee rest. Yea, he will give delight unto thy soul. Where there is no vision, the people cast off restraint. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. A servant will not be corrected by words, for though he understand, he will not give heed. Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope of a fool than of him. He that delicately bringeth up his servant from a child shall have him become a son at the last. An angry man stirreth up strife, and a wrathful man aboundeth in transgression. A man's pride shall bring him low, but he that is of a lowly spirit shall obtain honor. Whoso is partner with a thief hateth his own soul. He heareth the adjuration and uttereth nothing. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in Jehovah shall be safe. Many seek the ruler's favor, but a man's judgment cometh from Jehovah. An unjust man is an abomination to the righteous, and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. End of chapter 29. This recording is in the public domain.